Hello everyone, I am Manali Reshamwala, Assistant Professor from LJ Institute of Physiotherapy. Today I am going to talk about role of physiotherapist in chronic bronchitis. It is a part of syllabus for final year physiotherapy students of Gujarat University and the subject is physiotherapy in cardiopulmonary conditions. The topics to be discussed in this video tutorial are definition, clinical signs and symptoms, pathology, patient assessment and prognosis of chronic bronchitis. In next video tutorial, we are going to discuss principles of treatment and physiotherapy management in detail. So let's see the definition. Acute bronchitis. It is an inflammation of tuber tracheobronchial tree that is self-limiting and of short duration with few pulmonary signs. So usually acute bronchitis patient does not require physiotherapy. Chronic bronchitis. It is an object obstructive lung disease characterized by a chronic cough with excessive mucus production that is not due to known specific causes such as bronchiectasis or tuberculosis and that is present for most of at least three months of year for two or more consecutive years. So this is about a chronic bronchitis so that the symptoms and everything may repeat almost three months of every year for more than two to three consecutive years. So then only we can describe it as a chronic bronchitis. So the history of the patient takes a very important part in knowing which kind of obstructive lung disease patient is having. Next is clinical signs and symptoms. In acute bronchitis, patient may have mild fever for one to three days, malaise, back and muscle pain, sore throat, cuff with sputum production with wheezing and possibly laryngitis. In chronic bronchitis patient, there may be persistent cough with sputum production, reduced chest expansion, wheezing and dyspnea, fever, cyanosis, reduced excise tolerance. So there are the difference between acute and bro chronic bronchitis symptoms. Next is pathology. When any kind of irritant substance is introduced into the uh, tracheobronchial tree, it may cause overactivity of mucus producing cells and globulet cells. They produce a lot of mucus. There will be a lining or a coating of the mucus inside the um, bronchioles and bronchi. Further, if these substances are not being removed, then there may be inflammatory changes in the mucosal cells. This everything will do a reduction in lumen of the airways. This narrowing of the airway is specifically emphasized during expiration. So most of the air remain in the lung even during expiration. Because of narrowing of the lumen, air cannot be expelled out. This air dripping leads to permanent distension and loss of elasticity of alveoli which may lead to emphysema. These all the changes in a case of chronic bronchitis patient makes a patient to happen a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So this is the pathology. Next is the patient assessment for chronic bronchitis. Here we are discussing about a physiotherapy assessment where a general assessment which will include demographic data and history as we have to ask the patient since how long the patient is suffering from such kind of uh, signs and symptoms and whether they had even previously in any of the years or not. Next is subjective assessment which will include breathlessness, cough, sputum, wheeze, hemoptysis and chest pain which we are going to ask the patient what kind of symptoms he is having right now. By that way we can get to know the subjective assessment in detail. Last is objective assessment where we are going to observe and examine some of the things. So let's see the subjective assessment first where breathlessness usually patient finds a progressive exertional dyspnea, duration, severity and pattern we need to ask to the patient. Usually patient may complain of orthopnea, 
दैट इज वेन एवर पेशेंट इज लाइंग डाउन ही इज फीलिंग दिस मे वी नीड टू ऑल्सो आज द प्रेसिपिटिंग फैक्टर्स एंड रिलीविंग फैक्टर्स मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम प्रेसिपिटिंग फैक्टर्स इज ऑन एक्जर्शन ड्यू टू सम ऑफ द एलर्जेंस एंड पॉल्यूशन रिलीविंग फैक्टर यूजली इज रेस्ट एंड यूज ऑफ ब्रोंकोडाइलेटर्स नेक्स्ट इज कफ इट इज प्रेजेंट टाइप क्रॉनिक प्रोडक्टिव कफ फ्रीक्वेंसी इनिशियली इंटरमीडियट एंड ग्रेजुअली बिकम्स कंटिन्यूस ड्यूरेशन लास्ट फॉर सेवरल वीक्स टू मंथ्स सीवियरिटी इंक्रीज्ड बाय फॉग डैम्प और इन्फेक्शन वेदर द पेशेंट में ऑल्सो कंप्लेन ऑफ बाउट्स ऑफ कफिंग ओकेजनली ऑन लाइंग डाउन और इन द मॉर्निंग स्पूटम विदाउट इन्फेक्शन दर ई मे बी म्यूकस म्यूकॉइड और टीनेशियस ऑन एग्जाजर्बेशन बिकॉज ऑफ इन्फेक्शन देर इज म्यूकोप्यूरुलेंट द अमाउंट विल प्रोग्रेसिवली इंक्रीज इन स्पूटम कल्चर वी मे फाइंड हिमोफिलस इन्फ्लुएंसा और स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस न्यूमोनिया काइंड ऑफ बैक्टेरिया हिमोप्टिस इज ओकेजनली प्रेजेंट दैट इज ब्लड इन द स्पूटम नेक्स्ट इज वीज विच इज प्रेजेंट बिकॉज ऑफ नेरोइंग ऑफ द एयरवे ड्यूरिंग एक्सपीरेशन वी मे हियर ऑडिबल वीज विच वर्ज इन द मॉर्निंग एंड मे बी रिलेटेड टू वेदर चेंजेस ऑल्सो चेस्ट पेन नॉट मच सिग्निफिकेंट इन पेशेंट ऑफ क्रोनिक ब्रोंकाइटिस एंड अदर सिम्टम्स लाइक फीवर एंड हेड एक मे बी प्रेजेंट पेरिफेरल ईडीमा इन लेटर स्टेजेस इज प्रेजेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव असेसमेंट हियर वी आर गोइंग टू फिजियोथेरापिस्ट इज गोइंग टू ऑब्जर्व सम ऑफ द थिंग्स लाइक जनरल ऑब्जर्वेशन विल बी सींग द लेवल ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस द पेशेंट मे बी फाउंड अल्टर और डल जनरल हेल्थ एंड बॉडी बिल्ट यूजली दिस काइंड ऑफ पेशेंट आर ओबेस बिकॉज दे फॉल इन टू द कंसिडरेशन ऑफ ब्लू ब्लॉटर्स साइनोस इज यूजली प्रेजेंट ड्यू टू डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कॉम्प्लिकेशन सच एज वेंट्रिकुलर फेलियर और पॉलिसाइथेमिया नेक्स्ट इज ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ चेस्ट शेप इज यूजली अ बेरल शेप चेस्ट विथ इंड्रोन एबडाम ब्रीदिंग पैटर्न एबडामल अपाइकल ब्रीदिंग Use of accessory muscle is present in these cases of patient. Injuring of scap supra clavicular fossa during inspiration is also found. Jugular venous pressure usually we find exaggerated JVP in this kind of patient, and emptying uh, on inspiration and distension on the expiration can be found. On palpation, chest wall expansion while checking some uh, symmetry we find diminished thoracic movement. gradually paradoxical in drawing in the intercostal space may also be developed vocal frameters heard position of the trachea or mediastinum usually is midline on percussion in acute bronchitis we may find normal or dull kind of percussion note in chronic bronchitis there is hyper resonance because of air trapping on examination will first check for vital signs like respiratory rate pulse rate temperature and blood pressure Next, we'll find out the chest expansion in according to area, in which area or region during inspiration and expiration, what the difference in chest uh, expansion occurs that we need to measure. By that way, we get to know the shape as well as the amount of respiration. Next is auscultation. Audible V's can be found. With the stethoscope, we may hear inspiratory and expiratory ronchi with added coarse crepitations. Breath sound usually is vesicular with prolonged expiration. Heart sound S one and S two is normally present. Range of motion of the shoulder joint in thoracic spine is found usually reduced because of stiffness of the accessory muscles. Exercise tolerance test is also reduced in these kind of patient. On investigation in lung function test, we may find reduced FEV one FEC ratio. FEV one is grossly reduced. because of that ratio is also reduced residual volume is increased because of air trapping at the expense of vital capacity because of air trapping as i said then abg analysis pseo2 is increased and po2 reduced respiratory stimulus depends on hypoxic drive not on the pseo2 which is usually seen in blue blotters chest x ray no characteristic abnormality in early stages can be found later we may found the same changes like copd prognosis it is a progressive disease with acute exacerbation gradually damages respiratory system in end stage patient may develop core pulmonary and or a respiratory failure so here are the references thank you